45-year-old Mufija is harvesting leafy greens from her food garden. The greens that she has personally grown for herself and her family. A migrant farmer from Bengal, Mufija lives in one of Delhi's most marginalized urban slums, at the foot of the Bhalswa landfill the biggest waste dump site of the capital, where mounds rise more than 200 feet. Living in this resettlement colony is a sanitation disaster. More so for women like her, who make a living out of picking trash. Wading through this mountain of waste, several hours a day, fetches her about 300 rupees daily. Hardly enough to provide wholesome food for her family of six. खाने पीने के में हम ऐसा है ये स्कूल पे चावल आटा बढ़ते थे बच्चे मेरे एक लड़का स्कूल जाते थे वहाँ चावल गेहूँ चना के दाल देते थे चना देते थे तो वो गुजारा कर लेते थे मैम हमें वहाँ से मिलती थी अब वो लड़का पढ़ते नहीं है for the last one year, this food garden, a social initiative undertaken by the non-profit Chintan, has been providing for Mufija and her family's nutritional needs. You can make a star and you say, Sambu skin. Bharti Chaturvedi, founder and director Chintan, tells us about the experiment programmed around marginalized communities in the waste sector, especially women and children, and one that is hoping to bring in climate and gender justice. We said firstly, why can't we empower women who are really poor and who don't have too much um, you know, economic um, uh, empowerment to eat better. We found that very few women would ever eat any kind of green vegetables. It was quite rare, uh, maximum once a week. And the other problem is that nutrition is going to be, it already is, a huge crisis in, in the coming years with climate change because obviously there are going to be crop failures. You can't, you know, uh, prices of food might rise and India also imports things like pulses and those things become more expensive. And we just kind of felt that we really have to create nutritional resilience. Through training, Mufija is now able to grow high nutrition vegetables organically around the year. पहले मैम ये बहुत कचड़ा था तो हमें 20 25 दिन लगी सफाई करने में इसे सफाई करके तब चिंतन ने हमें बीज दे तो हमने लगाने लगे खट्टा पे से मट्टी लाए लाके इसे डालने लगे ये एकदम बेकार थी तो वो तो ऊंचा से मट्टी ला ला के ला ला के दे डाले तभी सफा हुई अच्छी लगी आ, हमें बैठने भी अच्छी लगती हमने रोटी बनाते यही ठंडी में और ये चिंतन से ये मेथी है पाला के Dhaniya, chawla, sarso, all of them are very expensive. The price of the market is very expensive, ma'am. We don't have to buy anything. And I put water in my house. I put water in my house. Any surplus produce helps Mufija occasionally with a supplementary income. It's not like the vegetables. I'm going to buy the vegetables. I'm going to buy the vegetables. तो सौ कभी दो सौ का बेच देती हूँ कभी डेढ़ सौ का बिक जाती है जैसे सब्जी महंगी होती है जब चालीस रुपए किलो पालक होती है तो हमारी महंगी बिक जाती है जब सस्ती रहती है तो नहीं बेचती अपने घर खाती हूँ तो आस पड़ोस को दे देती हूँ जब महंगी होती है तो बेच देती हूँ कुछ पैसा आ जाएगी हम पे ये कुछ ये खरपतवार इसे फालतू ही इसे हटा दिया करो अब ये बीज जो है पक्के तैयार हो चुका है अब ये सूखने की केवल कमी है इसमें With CSR funding from Flipkart and Give India the initiative has roped in local farmers to help with best practices in farming while also training women in utilizing space My god 
it was such a challenge because there's no space. I mean, if you you've seen the sites, where's the space? There's no space, and even these juggies are microscopically small. They're smaller than many other juggies. So we didn't tackle it in that way. What we did was we um, we kind of tried to grow things on rooftops, and we tried to create juggy rooftop um, gardens. We we uh, tried to use the space around. We tried to do stacked pots. We tried many experiments, uh, and most of all, what we did was we worked according to season. So when the season for something gets over, you know you can replace the space you used for that with a new crop. So one of the things about that was that you had to be really precise. Twenty-two-year-old Saira, whose husband works as a waste picker. Manages her own food garden on an empty plot right outside her shanty. Till a year ago, Saira was suffering from severe iron deficiency. घबराहट सी होती थी, कमजोरी सी महसूस होती थी। तो डॉक्टर के पास गई थी, तो खून की जांच हुआ, तो सही है। पहले खून की कमी थी, तो अब पूरी हो गई है कमी। तो डॉक्टर ने बोला कि साग सब्जी, हरा सब्जी, अब जी खाओ। तो हमें मिला जब से पौधा � तो शरीर में भी फायदा करता है, आयरन बढ़ती है, खून की कमी पूरी होती है, बहुत फायदा करता है। पहले से तो ठीक ही हूँ। Saira has now preserved seeds for the next crop. She's been learning about the nutritional value and the goodness of food at workshops like these, a regular feature in her neighbourhood. I talked about the recipes, like what are the health benefits of the uh, two recipes, they don't know why we are eating this. I asked two questions. Why are you eating batua and why are you eating tori? So they were blank. They don't know. Here is the role of mind come that I need to explain them what is the role of nutrition. Why you need to have that. Nutritionist Ayushi Bansal has been working with the community for the last seven months. If I see, and according to me, uh, they might have the low of immunity, first of all, and they have like mosquito bite or dengue, or these are the major things that they can be suffer from, first of all. So for that, they need to work on their immunity. That is the main, 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 most important thing that you have to focus on. And for immunity, my work is to guide them the food items which are easily available and easy to implement. Back from her day's work at the landfill, Mufija is putting together some freshly harvested greens. She adds some lemon juice as seasoning for better absorption of iron, something she picked up from one of the Kyari to Kitchen workshops, as they are called. समझो तो 45 साल में बहुत से आदमी खटिया पकड़ लेते हैं। हम खट्टा में सात मंजिल चढ़ते हैं। जब हरी सब्जी खाते हैं तब तो मेरे शरीर में जाने तभी तो मैं चढ़ती हूँ। इतना मेहनत से वो डोब को लेके आने पड़ती है। 30 30 किलो सिर पे लेके आने पड़ती है। जब शरीर में जाने होगी तो कैसा करेंगे? Uh, so I'm assuming their anemia is reduced. Uh, alternatively, uh, we also deworm them so that they could absorb the nutrition. And we there's a you know every quarter. Waste pickers are really the grassroots environmentalists of a city. Those who work silently but remain largely neglected and forgotten. This is the workforce responsible for cleaning. 66%, for instance, of the solid waste generated in Delhi. And yet, they remain outside the formal sector and purview of government benefits. I think um, the government is absolutely vital. There are policies, um, you know, they are recognized under various rules. Uh, there's the e Shram card. I think the challenges in, is in number one, reaching out to the last waste picker the second thing is actually making available really quality social security. So, for example, in Delhi, 
there's been no ration card for nearly 10 years. How do you expect them to feed themselves? They're still cleaning your city, but they're not, no longer feeding themselves as well as they should. So uh, improved health, improved ration, I think those are, so government really has to up some of that. I also think we have GST on waste and that kind of nibbles into the margins that waste pickers can earn. Chintan's organic food project has so far helped about 30,000 people from marginalized communities, mostly rag pickers, across Delhi become food independent. At the Bhalswa resettlement community, close to 600 women like Mufija and Saira are slowly beginning to live a life with some amount of food dignity. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.